Okay, so good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good everything to everyone. Um, Arnon Barnes in the house for another Words of Wisdom on Wednesday with Arnon. So uh, we have uh, Instagram in the house, we have Facebook in the house. Totka, good to see you, good to see you. Um, let's give everyone a moment um, to connect and join. Looking forward to this session. And today's session is uh, labeled Making 2022 a Great Freaking Year. So good to see you guys joining. Good to be here. Um, and as always, I am going to be recommending a book that I think is going to make a massive impact, a massive positive impact on your business, on your life, and uh, on your results. Okay, so uh, like I said, good to be here, uh, good to see you guys, and the title of today's session is Making 2022 a Great Freaking Year. So to all of you tuning in, watching this, let me just say, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and New Year's is knocking on the door, so I wish you guys a great end of year and an even more blessed New Year. So let's dive right in. What are some things that you could do or things that you need to think about if you're going to make 2022 an amazing freaking year? So as always, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to give you guys three things that I believe if you take on board, if you implement, if you execute, and if you own, it will make your 20 2022 a great freaking year. So let's dive right in. Good to see all of you here. Um, and let's dive right into three things that I think are going to, not think, I know are going to help you um, have a great 2022. So let's dive into the first one. The first thing that I want to give you guys as feedback or as a suggestion is very simply make a freaking choice. I'll say that again. Make a freaking choice. Make a choice. Make a choice. Make a conscious choice of how you want to start the year, the new year. Make a conscious choice of how you want this year, this coming year to look like. And make a conscious choice of what are the results you would like to achieve within 12 months or by the end of next, the, 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 the year that's coming. Make a choice. So many people give away their power and they rely on destiny or they rely on the government or they rely on, you know, uh, the politicians or the bankers or big pharma. Don't be a victim of circumstances. Take your life and own it. Lead it. Lead your family, lead your tribe, lead your business, but most importantly, lead yourself. Lead yourself. So make a choice how you are going to live in 2022, how you want to do things in 2022. Make a conscious choice of the results you would like to achieve to, to experience in 2022. Make a conscious choice. You know that situation where you jump in the car and you've got to go to the supermarket, right? You jump in the car, you're driving to the supermarket, and you're driving for like five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, you're driving to your favorite supermarket, and then you arrive there, you park the car, and as you park the car, you think to yourself, how the hell did I get here, right? And the reason why I share that is because a lot of people live their life like that. They drive their, they're, they're driving their life very subconsciously. They're not realizing how they're going from point A to point B. And they wake up and they're like point B and, and they're at point B and they don't even know how I got here because they're on autopilot. Step out of the energy of being on autopilot. Make more conscious decisions, conscious choices. So that's the first thing I want to give you guys, okay? If you're going to make 2022 a great freaking year, make a choice, if it's a financial choice, if it's a health choice, if it's a relationship choice, if it's a business choice, make clear and conscious, conscious, not subconscious, make a conscious choice of how you want to 
start the year, get through the year, and what is the conscious choice of how you want to end the year, okay? That's the first thing I want to share with you guys. The next thing that I want to share with you guys, and this is really important, this is really important. The second thing that's important is ask yourself, what is something that you are willing to sacrifice? You know, a lot of people come to me and they say, oh, I know you've achieved high levels of success. You know, let, let, let me say this, my friends. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. You have to take the stairs. So you've got to ask yourself, what are you willing to sacrifice in order to achieve whatever choices you want to achieve? What is something you're willing to sacrifice? And, and make no mistake, success in a relationship, in business, in your health, requires in some shape, in some form, a sacrifice or multiple sacrifices. So, you know, everybody says, you know, oh, Arnon, I want to become financially free. I want to build a multi, multi million euro business like you. I want to do X, Y, and Z. So everybody's after the I want, I want. The question that I'm going to ask you guys to ask yourself is what are you willing to sacrifice? Because, you know, it's like, <clears throat> it's like everybody wants success, but nobody's willing to work. Okay, now, now please understand the only place <clears throat> that success shows up before work is in the dictionary, right? So here's my second tip. If you're going to make 2022 a great freaking year, see you willing to sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice in order to have a better business, um, a better health, a better relationship? Um, a better connection with your children, a better, whatever it is. But, but I want you to think about it from a sacrifice perspective. It's like the guy who wants a great body, yeah, has to visit a moment of sacrifice, okay, a day. So if there's 24 hours a day, you have to sacrifice one hour of suffering and pain, one hour a day, not tw and, and then you've got 23 hours left for yourself, but you've got to make that sacrifice, okay? You don't have to live in suffering. You don't have to live in pain, but make a sacrifice for one hour a day to work on your health, work on your mindset, work on whatever it is. And if, you, if you're willing to make that sacrifice, I'm telling you that is the foundation to going and getting results. Because a lot of people, again, you know, I, I had this conversation with one of my coaching clients earlier today. Great business owner, multi-million pound business based in the UK, good people, good person, husband and wife. And we were talking about this and we were talking about this and we we're talking about this. And I said to him, look, you know, what are we willing to sacrifice? You know, the only reason I'm successful is because when I was younger, I sacrificed myself. OK, I, I didn't I didn't really enjoy weekends. I certainly didn't, you know, sit in front of the TV all day and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not saying it's good or bad, right or wrong. By the way, I'm not saying do this. I'm saying consider it. Consider it, okay? So the first thing, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make 2022 a, a great year, the first thing I want you to think about is make conscious choices of what you want to experience, what you wanna have, what are the results you wanna get in your love relationships, in your family relationships, in your businesses, in your health. Number one, make conscious choices. Number two, like I said, come to the table thinking, what am I willing to sacrifice next year? So for example, if you say, listen, I want to get fitter, I want to get healthier, I want to get stronger. What are you willing to sacrifice? Okay, so what I'm willing to sacrifice is no more um, fast foods at night or you know, no more late meals after 7, 8 p.m. in the evening. So that, that mindset of I'm going to sacrifice this, we live in the world of cause and effect. So if you sacrifice this, the knock-on effect is that you will gain or benefit this, okay? That's the th second thing I want to share with you. Now, the third thing that I recommend you all consider, if you want to make 2022 a great freaking year, number one, make conscious choices of what you want, right? What are the results you want in your life, in your business, in your relationships? Number two, I already said this, what are you willing to sacrifice? And number three, very important, support, support, okay? Surround yourself with people or a person, 
Maybe this is a coach. Maybe this is a mentor. Maybe this is someone that you look up to or you have respect for. But surround yourself. Maybe it's a group, right? Maybe it's a friend. But surround yourself with people or a person that will support you on your decision, on your sacrifice, on your choices. Because you can, look, you can have the desire, the passion, the commitment to want to change or to achieve something. But guess what? If I surround you with shitty people, shitty people will pull you down. Shitty people will hold you back. Shitty people will anchor you to your old self. And so if I can give you any extra feedback, if you're going to make 2022 a great year, like I said, number one, make conscious choices of what you want. Okay. Number two, sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice to achieve or to get whatever you're after? And number three, find support, find support, find a person or people or a group. Yeah, we back. Find a group or a system or something that can give you the support you need to see you through the obstacles, the challenges, and the hard times, if that makes sense. So those are the three things that I'm gonna leave you with. And of course, I've got a great freaking book that I've chosen for you guys um, that I think will benefit you, all of you, because in it are some tactics, some routines, and habits of billionaires icons and world-class performers. So in a moment, I'm going to share this book with you. Um, but before I do, look, guys, I want you guys to succeed. 2022 is knocking on the door, right? So let's make this year great. Like I said, don't leave it to chance. Don't blame your government. Don't blame the, your, you know, just, just own your decisions and own your life, Okay. So this is the book that I recommend you guys read. By the way, this, these are books that I've read. These are books that I get value from. These are books that on my path, on my journey, have helped me tremendously to achieve my success, my financial freedom, and you know the things that I do in my life, um, whether it's building companies, buying companies, selling companies, um, you know, and, and living the lifestyle I want, deserve, and desire. So these are some of the books that I recommend. And here's a great one for you guys. It is called Tools of Titans. Tools of Titans, right? So Tools of Titans. By the way, I don't get any commission on these books. I just want to give you guys value. So the book is called Tools of Titans. It's quite a thick book. It's quite a thick book. But basically in this book, um, it's like small stories, small antidotes, uh, antidotes of certain entrepreneurs, business people, athletes of how they think, how they do things. And there's some really interesting things here that I'm sure that if you, if you read this or if you pick this up and you look at some of the insights or the shares that Tim Ferriss has, has brilliantly done here, you're going to get some golden nuggets from this book. So um, on that note, guys, um, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. I love you all very much. Stay in your power. Stay in your strength. Um, take time off, right? Christmas is coming up. I hope you spend time with your loved ones, your families, um, you know, the people you care about. This is an opportunity for you to do some reflection as well. And um, whatever you do, be kind to yourself. Be kind to your spirit, okay? Most people beat themselves up. Don't be that. Don't be that person, okay? So on that note, I'm sending all of you a lot of love, um, festive blessings, Merry Christmas, and I want to wish you guys um, a great uh, festive season. So uh, until next session, uh, I'm going to wish you guys a great day, great week, and uh, sending you much love. Again, if you got value from the session, please tag someone, share this video with someone, and let's spread as much light as we can. Um, especially during these dark days, COVID, Schmovid, and all this bullshit that we're facing. Spread light, guys. Give someone a smile. Give someone some kindness. And um, yeah, just stay, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Till next week, have a good one. Take care. Ciao.